Are you ready for the ultimate red team challenge? You see, just a little bit ago, Try Hack Me released the red team capstone network and it was available to everyone for one month. At the end of that one month, unfortunately, it became a business exclusive, which I know limited many people from accessing what I think is one of, if not the best network out there right now. Well, Try Hack Me recently made a decision, a really good decision in my opinion, to reopen this network to all Try Hack Me subscribers so that everybody can dive into to the red team capstone network and see do you have what it takes to be a red teamer before we talk about the network though i want us to define our terms when it comes to pen testing and red teaming a lot of people assume they are the same thing but they are not so let me be clear I'm a pen tester, I am not currently a red teamer. And I know those of you may be new to the field, that's a little confusing to you because you just always assume that pen testing is red teaming and red teaming is pen testing, but they're not the same thing. So before I introduce you to the network, let me just define my terms. Let's talk about what a pen test is and what a pen tester does. When you're performing a pen test, it's very much time limited and it's quite noisy and the blue team in the organization knows all about the pen test. So when I am hired to do a pen test usually it might be a five day engagement a 10 day engagement depending on the scope and during that engagement i'm not trying to be stealthy i'm being as noisy as i can possibly be because the organization at that point in time does not care about stealth they just want me to find every vulnerability in their platform and in their network uh, be able to exploit it and then write a report saying hey here are the vulnerabilities i found here are suggested ways to remediate these vulnerabilities so that they can strengthen their network now because it's time limited like i said before before, I might only have three days to do a web app pen test or five days to do an internal pen test. I don't have a whole lot of time there to focus on stealth and the organization doesn't want me to focus on stealth. They want me to find every vulnerability I can find. It's very much a holistic way to approach it. And once again, noisy, I'm showing up in the logs and that's on purpose. I'm not trying to hide anything during your standard pen test. In addition, in the standard pen test, it's usually limited to one assessment type. So I'll be pen testing a web app or an API or an internal pen test or an external pen test or a mobile app. You're usually not doing all of those at once. You're focusing on one assessment type for that specific pen test. So it's time limited, very narrow scope, very limited scope and a holistic, just find the vulnerabilities, let us know what they are so that we are able to fix them. So that is pen testing. Now, red teaming, is a lot more complex, a lot more advanced than your typical pen test. When it comes to an actual red team engagement, it's usually much longer. Uh, these can go anywhere from three months, six months, sometimes even a full year, and the focus is on stealth. Very few people in the target organization know that a red team engagement is being done, at least at that particular time, because they want you to emulate what is called an APT or an advanced persistent threat. Now, APTs are often nation state actors or very uh, organized criminal groups that focus on taking down large organizations and deploying ransomware or whatever have you, stealing sensitive data, selling that data on the deep web, whatever that looks like. So when you do a red team engagement, you are focused on stealth. You're trying to emulate those APTs by using really advanced attacks against an organization. And you usually have a goal in mind. That goal might be to find sensitive information. Maybe there's this flag somewhere on the network on some machine and you're just not given much information, but hey, can you get to this sensitive piece of information? It's not just can you get domain admin, but if you get domain admin, what is the goal execution that's gonna follow you getting domain admin? That is what a red team engagement looks like. And rather than narrow scope, it's often open-handed. So when you do a red team engagement, there's often an on-site component where you're doing social engineering. Maybe you're disguising yourself as a construction worker or an electrician or whatever it is to get into the building. You're also maybe doing web apps on top of that, trying to steal information that way. You're doing an external pen test, looking at the IPs that they have, seeing if you can poke it from the outside. You're doing an internal pen test. Maybe on-site you're doing a Wi-Fi engagement where you set up an evil twin attack, which is like another router, another access point that looks like the network, hoping that an employee logs in and you can steal their AD creds to pivot deeper into the network without getting caught. So a red team engagement is stealthy, much longer term, and it's focused on goal execution, not just finding vulnerabilities, but executing a specific goal. So red teaming and pen testing are not the same thing. And this network challenges you as the ultimate red team capstone. I want to introduce y'all to this network. 
And a little bit of a spoiler, you can see all the machines here. It's not too much of a spoiler because as you answer each question, you'll get the next machine. But I just want you to look at this. You, you begin, like that YouTube video, just look at it. You begin with a few public facing servers here, right? You have a VPN server, a web server, and a mail server. You have to somehow breach one of these in order to then set up pivoting to get past the firewall. You have the first domain right here, Corp DC. You have to breach that. You have to get to the root DC. You got another child DC here. You have some jump boxes. You have some workstations. You have something called Swift, which will make sense. It's a whole banking system. So first thing I want you to notice is this network is massive. There are a lot of things going on and it requires some pretty deep thinking in a realistic attack environment. The other thing I love about the red team capstone that is different than your traditional CTF, is there's, there's more than one path to accomplish the goal. So if you dive into this and let's say you're on the web server and you're completely stuck, you don't know what to do next, pivot, you know, like the, the friends, pivot, 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 right, pivot. Change it up, do something else, because there's gonna be another way to accomplish that goal, which is true in a pen test as well, especially like an internal pen test. There's always more than one way to get something done. My frustration with most CTFs is there's only one right way to do it, everything else is a rabbit hole. That is not true on the Red Team Capstone Challenge. There are multiple ways to accomplish the same goal, so if you get stuck on one, pivot to another one and see if you can take down this network in a different way. In addition, if we look at the introduction, there's just a few things I want to draw your attention to. One is this. This is an in-depth network challenge simulating a red teaming engagement. So remember, not a pen test, not a CTF, but a red team engagement. And it includes several phases structured around the cyber kill chain that require us to enumerate the perimeter, breach the org, perform lateral movement, and finally, here's a big thing, perform goal execution to show impact. You can see all the different learning objectives that are being tested here. It is a lot. It is exciting stuff. And I want to read this word from the challenge author, my actually good friend, Amoeba Man, who is, in my opinion, the best, best room creator out there. But I want you to look at this. It's rated as hard because it's a mountain, but it could have been rated as insane. But here's the key. When you break it down, no stage is overly difficult in and of itself, but it's taking good notes and putting all the stages together so that you're able to actually complete this. Now, here's the thing. This is not a capture the flag game. Your CTF skills alone will not be sufficient to complete the challenge. You need to treat this like a real red team engagement. Of course, there's no like on-site component where you're doing social engineering, but there is some fishing that you're able to do. Uh, complete at least 80% of the red team path, all the attacks here, you're able to go back at the red team pathway and try hack me and learn it. So I completed it 100% before I even attempted the red team capstone and I would also recommend that. Now to make it even more realistic, we have an entire video about this bank called Trimento, which is the bank that you are trying to hack. Remember, the goal is not just to get domain admin or enterprise admin, the goal is to really perform a fraudulent payment using the Swift banking system in the Trimento Bank. And to make it more realistic, we have a full project overview, our cyber consultancy firm of Try Hack Me. We have a project goal of what we're attempting to do in the end. We have a rough idea of how a payment is made. We have in scope, things that are in scope, things that are out of scope, all just like a real red team engagement. And then some information on how we're able to get connected to the network and begin doing our our red team engagement. So if you are looking for the ultimate red team challenge, I cannot encourage you enough to give the red team capstone challenge a shot. Now I do have an eight part video series on my YouTube page of when I worked through this entire thing live and eventually solved it in eight streams. But look, don't watch my stream. Seriously, like give this a shot on your own. And if you get stuck, jump over to my stream, watch just enough until you're no longer stuck, stop watching my stream and jump back into it. One of the best ways you can learn is by struggling your way through it. But when you do get stuck, all right, I, I'm not a fan of the whole try harder and bang your head against your keyboard. If you're truly stuck, jump over to my walkthrough video, watch up until you're no longer stuck, jump back into the Red Team Capstone Challenge, and I think you will get a lot out of this. So let's get ready. Let's see if we can complete the Red Team Capstone Challenge. Good luck and happy hacking.